against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. What's up guys? So, today's video is going to be how to super shotgun. And many of you be, might be asking me, Nick, why not just call it a double barrel? Because it's not. Because it's super. So, in today's video, I'm going to go over my setup, the gun, the things I've done to the gun, as well as the technique to better facilitate super shotgunning. Okay, now that I got all the appropriate safety attire on, let's go over the gun. So what I have here is a Stoger side-by-side -side coach gun. Uh, these guns are super cheap. I think I got this thing for like 300 bucks. And in my opinion, I think these are the best side-by-side um, -side shotguns to use for super shotgunning. Uh, I think a lot of guys in the cowboy action community would agree. Um, these things are they're cheap, they're reliable, and you can do a lot of uh, aftermarket parts in it. We're at the range today, so forgive any gunfire might be here in the background. So the first thing I did was I had a gunsmith uh, bevel these, these chambers out, because usually there's a ledge inside of here, but with it beveled out right there, you can kind of just throw them in don't have to get it exact, which makes it way faster uh, inserting the shell. So I got the gun broken down right now. Forgive that it's really dirty. We just shot about 200 rounds for this thing. Um, another thing I did was I polished these contact surfaces right here. Because usually these are black when you get it, but I just took some sandpaper um, and just smoothed this out a lot and polished it down. Just makes it so when this thing is moving, or specifically right here, I also polish these areas right here, just making this a lot smoother when it's breaking. Because when you get these guns, um, they're pretty rough when you start, first start using them. They're really hard to break open, it takes a lot of muscle, but if you, you know, smooth these areas out, um, and just over time, these things get a lot looser. Um, another thing I did was I bought an aftermarket spring from Brownells inside of here, which is the lever spring because the stock spring is really hard, so you really have to push hard when using this thing. But with the aftermarket spring, it's a lot lighter and it's not as hard as on the thumb when trying to break open the action. All right, so. A lot of this information on how to upgrade these shotguns can be found in other videos. The guy's done a lot better job of explaining just the, the process. But I'm going to go over my technique of how I super shotgun. Right? So first off, the belt. The belt setup 
or how you're going to grab the shells is one of the most important things of actually getting good speed out of this thing. Because if you're just searching for shells in your pocket, it's going to slow down your reload times by a lot. So I bought this uh, Cowboy Action uh, shotgun belt. A bunch of different companies make these things. Um, I can't remember where I got this one from. It was from one of the various Cowboy Action leather goods uh, online stores. But as you can see, it has, uh, well, six of these pockets right here that holds two shells each, which makes it incredibly easy just to reach down, grab two shells at a time, and feed the gun. Um, I wouldn't recommend a bandolier, a typical bandolier, just because it makes it harder to grab two shells at a time. These purpose-made belts for double barrel shotguns work really good. Um, I know Safari Land makes Kydex kind of double um, shotgun shell holders, which I haven't tried those out, but um, these are very popular in the cowboy action shooting com uh, you know, a community. So that's what I bought. All right, so now we're gonna go over the technique of super shotgunning. All right, the key to getting good at this is dry fire practice. I've dry fired thousands of times in my garage to get decent at it. I'm sure there's guys in cowboy action that are way better than me and can smoke me. I'm just gonna go over the technique that I use and what works for me. All right, so I'm gonna go over the dry fire practice. So start with the barrels open. I have it shouldered as such, like I'm about to aim down the sights. I grab two shells at a time, thumb behind, grabbing with my other fingers like this. And then I feed the gun at an angle and rock them in. Hand comes under, brings the gun up, safe, disengage the safety, and then blast with each trigger. Fire to blast. All right, so here comes the most, one of the most important parts is getting the shells out since this gun doesn't have um, auto ejectors. From here, I'm keeping a strong hand on the front part of the gun. I'm going to slide the stock down between my armpit and my hands coming off and I'm disengaging this latch with the side of my thumb and then I'm breaking the action and then once it's up, I kick it back like this. It's really important to get a good kick back so the shells fly out, especially once this starts getting fouled. The shells tend to stick in there, so you want to give it a good uh, kick back. So I'm going to do a little bit faster just to give you an example again. So here, shells in, boom, boom, and then I'm up for the next one. So we're going to go do a little live demonstration here of the technique. Again, same principle supply. So have the gun shouldered. I'm going to go slower and faster and faster. So. Two shells at a time, rock them in, boom. Safety, and disengage. Kick them out. See, I've been shooting this gun a lot, so it fouled up. So I didn't kick it out hard enough on that one. So again. Stop the camera. <laughs> so after I was a complete asshole and ex told you guys how reliable these things are, uh, it broke on me as I was giving you guys the demonstration. Essentially, the lug right here snapped off inside the fucking action. So my super shotgun is dead. Granted, I've had this thing for about five years and have shot thousands of rounds through it and thousands more of dry fire, treating this thing like absolute garbage. Just a stroke of luck on the one video I tried to explain this stuff to you. My shit breaks. Well, it's fine. All is fine. I'll just buy another one. It's super shotgun again. With your stimmy I don't chair. give a shit! It's done.